I thought I'd just talk for a little bit about why I got into video instead of photo. And there are a lot of photographers on YouTube talking about all sorts of cameras, but not quite as many video production people on YouTube. But I, I think there's plenty of video production people out there. Uh, maybe they're just not quite as vocal about it on YouTube as, as uh, I am sometimes. But the reason I got into video instead of photo was because video was what was available to me. Uh, at the time, um, someone from the church I was attending asked me if I wanted to do uh, video production to help out as a volunteer. I said, absolutely. I was like 12 years old and thought this would be a great opportunity to make movies and have fun because that's what video has always looked like to me. It's looked like fun. I love going to the movies. I love watching TV and, and being a part of that process seemed like fun where photography, for whatever reason, I, I like doing it. It just has never had that same appeal. And I'm not sure why. I think some people definitely gravitate towards photography as something fun. But it never really struck me as a, a proper career um, until I was making the decision of where I wanted to go uh, for college. And thankfully, I was lucky enough to uh, be offered a scholarship for some of my grades in high school. And so I had a scholarship and I was like, okay, to, what do I want to study? And I was like, you know, I really like doing video. I think I want to do film and media for college. And because I had a scholarship, there really wasn't that risk, you know, of, of going to film school and, and going into debt for something that you may not make money off of. And I think at the time, pretty much everyone I told that I was getting into film and media said like, oh, you're gonna go make movies, huh? You're gonna go move out to Hollywood? And I was like, I mean, I could, but that really wasn't what was drawing me to it. It was, I was seeing how the landscape was changing. So this was back in 2007. YouTube was fairly new, and but I, but I saw the capability of online video and just the amount of video that was going to be needed uh, pretty pretty soon. You know, almost every company nowadays has videos on their website, YouTube channels, videos on Instagram, they're emailing videos out. Like video is everywhere and I'm pretty sure the number of jobs has only increased since I made that decision to go to college. So when, when I when I went to college, I was like, you know, I could go uh, move out to LA and do the whole Hollywood thing and, and try and make movies and stuff. But even if I don't decide to do that, there's still going to be an option. Maybe I get into TV. Maybe uh, you know, maybe some kind of short film thing works out for me. But even if those things don't work out, I, there's corporate video. There's there's also li there's live video. There's music videos, there's so many different types of videos that I just knew something was probably going to be available and it turns out that that was absolutely the case. That there are video jobs out there, there's more and more of them every day and there's a lot of people trying to do it so it's a very competitive uh, marketplace because it's, that's a fun, fun career. Um, it probably looks a lot more fun than it actually is. I think I made a video about why video production actually isn't fun. Um, it's fun sometimes, but it looks like a lot more fun than it than it can be. But um, you know, but I think that's pretty much any career actually. You know, from the outside looking in, it, it probably looks more glamorous than it actually is. But anyway, b back then, you know photography had been around so long that there definitely were professional photographers and if you wanted to go do the photo thing that was seen as a, as a way to make a living as an artist potentially even more uh, reliably than if you got into video because video um, is pretty new uh, granted movies have been around over a hundred years now but the ability for anyone to do it and just to be able to go to Best Buy or to shoot some video on your phone that's a, a relatively new phenomenon, and even just the even though YouTube is huge, it's still not as big as I think it should be or probably could be because there's just so many people who aren't tuned into to realizing the content they're looking for. It's not on TV, it's not in the theater, it's on YouTube, but they're sitting at home watching the TV because, hey, that's that's what's there, right? Me on the other hand, I. I canceled my TV, my cable subscription a long time ago. I want to do everything digital. I want it on the internet. So stuff like Netflix is awesome, Hulu, Amazon, and YouTube is a good portion of that as well. And so 
seeing how this landscape has changed, I'm really glad that I made that decision. Now, I know a lot of people maybe weren't as lucky, did, didn't want to take the risk in going to film school or, or went to film school and got into so much debt and they really haven't been able to pay it off. So I was quite fortunate with the way everything kind of played out um, because I don't know that I would recommend going to film school um, unless you have some kind of scholarship or you, you know that you're not going to go into severe debt because the whole debt thing with college, I think, is probably not worth it. You you rack up so much debt trying to get the education you supposedly need to do the thing you're trying to do. And then once you get to do the thing you do, you're constantly paying off that education. And I would say most of the time, if you are motivated, hardworking, and you know self-sufficient to where you're going to go out and research and figure it out on your own and do the heavy lifting and the hard work of, of getting uh, plugged in and networked and, and, and doing stuff like working for free as like an apprentice or some kind of internship and, and connecting with people that way, you can probably avoid college altogether. I really don't know that college did anything for me other than giving me uh, a few extra kind of uh, bits of information that I, I probably wouldn't have had otherwise. You know, I took some screenwriting classes, some producing classes, so it kind of expanded the scope of the work that I'm, I'm comfortable doing. But um, at the same time, I don't know that it would be worth it if I if I hadn't had that scholarship. So I really think it's something that everyone needs to kind of be very wise when you're making that decision of whether you want to go to college or not. If you can do it. It's a, it's a good experience. It's worthwhile because you learn stuff you couldn't learn otherwise. But if it's going to be a severe financial burden, then don't do it and find other ways to do it instead. Obviously, watching YouTube videos where people talk about video production and how to do it, that's always usually a good thing. So you can subscribe to my channel if you want more stuff like that. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much how and why I got into video. It looked a lot more fun than photo. Um, I, I like the teamwork, the collaboration, uh, the, the storytelling of video production. Obviously you can tell stories with photos too, but I think it's a little bit different. Um, hopefully, I don't know if that's obvious enough or not, but I, I'm sure there's photographers who would disagree, but there's definitely a difference between the two. Uh, a single photo or a series of photos, yes, can tell a story, it can have an impact, totally valid. Um, but there is a little bit of a difference with video or filmmaking or whatever you want to call it that I think me personally I, I gravitate towards and I like it a little bit better and You know for a, as fun or as not fun. It is like I love it so much It's why I, I do it as my job each and every day And it's why I shoot videos after I'm done working today. We were filming here in Chicago got done working and now I'm making more videos for my YouTube channel. So I absolutely love it. If you're the kind of person that's like that, uh, don't let anyone tell you that you're, you're never gonna make any money or that you know it's just a waste of time, an art degree that's meaningless. Um, I mean, it is kind of meaningless. So maybe you can let them tell you that, but don't let anyone try and dissuade you from doing what you love because if you love what you do, it's a lot easier to keep doing it. And even if you're making nothing or you're making a lot of money, it doesn't really matter because you love it so much and you'll just keep doing it. And anything that you keep doing long term almost always leads to some kind of success. Now, it may not be exactly the success you're looking for, but it's going to be some kind of success. I don't know anyone who's done something for a long period of time and then just nothing's ever come of it. I think most time, most of the time people do it for what they think is long enough and if they'd kept going another year or two years or three years or four years or at some point, they would have had kind of their break and most of the people who are successful who are um, big YouTubers or directors or actors or you know, you know, really you know, what we see as the successful creatives, a lot of times those people are just people who kept doing it until they got lucky or until you know some someone noticed them or, or whatever. I think a lot of people give up too early, and uh, and, and maybe that's because of their their own self doubt or they don't they're not as passionate about it as they think they are, or it could be because other people tell them that it's a waste of time and they shouldn't focus on it. You have to figure that out for yourself. You definitely have to be open to the people around you telling you, um, giving you their feedback. Because sometimes, you know, if you're the kind of person um, who needs that advice or, the, or that input, 
it's valuable to hear it. You know, if it's your parents, it's your friends, it's your family, it's your, your uh, other people you bump into on the street, you know, everyone's got their opinion. And I think if you can listen to it, but at the end of the day, you do need to check and, ha and how that resonates with yourself and see if it is the right decision. Because for me, if I listen to people who said, oh, don't you want to get a real degree and go into something where you can make money or, you know, be more successful, um, I wouldn't be here now and I love where I'm at. So I would hope that other people have the same process, whether it's music, graphic design, web design, video production, photography, whatever it is, if you love it and you want to do it and you have a plan for it long term, go right ahead and don't let anyone tell you not to do it or that it's a waste of time because I don't know how something, doing something you love could be a waste of time.